Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. The NFT market is going through a major meltdown. NFT sales volume has been declining for the past two months. Big NFT marketplaces Blur and OpenSea have slashed royalties, which has led to creator payouts plunge 98%. How will this impact the NFT market? To answer these questions and many more, we have a special guest with us, Mr. John Eggleston, co-founder Artisan Accelerator. Welcome to 3.0TV, John. Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. John, NFT market has recorded a 29% drop in trading sales volume for July compared to the previous month. What is the reason for dropping sales volumes and dipping floor prices of blue chip NFTs? Honestly, it's... Um it's purely just market dynamics. It's just, um, there's no real, uh, in terms of, well, okay. So there's things happening in the crypto markets, very, very volatile at the moment. Uh, so, and NFTs tend to follow um, the way the crypto markets go. So if crypto is doing pretty poorly, NFTs often follow suit. And um, right now, because because the the tech is really just in its infancy, there's not very many like uh, market fundamentals you can go off by itself. So it tends to piggyback um, the performance of other asset classes mm -hmm. like crypto. Okay. So prominent platforms like Blur and OpenSea have slashed royalties to as low as 0.6%, uh, due to which royalties payouts to the artists have plunged by 98%. What do you think should be the rules regarding royalties and what should be a fair percentage? Um, I think people uh, should be able to choose. I think the fairest option is for people to choose uh, what their own royalties are. And they can do that if they mint their NFTs directly via an NFT contract, either by themselves, either coded by themselves or by a developer, or through a third-party platform like uh, Manifold.xyz. Hmm. As for if it's fair, if the marketplace is... Um, cut royalties or not i think it's not a matter of like if it's fair or not i just think it's plain from a business point of view it's silly on their part because they're going to lose a lot of business because people are going to want if they can get royalties elsewhere they're going to go elsewhere so they're going to be losing business by cutting out all the royalties right uh, so we have seen NFT platforms like Wazirx, Form Function and Tessera shutting down and now GameStop has announced it will shut down in November. What is the reason behind it and when will the NFT sector recover? Well, the reason uh, all these platforms are shutting down is simply because the market's so bad, the sales volume has dropped so much that they aren't making, the income isn't high enough to cover all the expenses they need to pay to run the NFT marketplace and it just collapses. So it, it requires that high volume mm -hmm. to uh, to function properly. Right. And when will it recover? The NFT market will most likely recover when crypto, when the crypto market recovers, because the NFT market tends to piggyback the crypto market, like I said before. And I think I'm pretty sure that will be around mid next year, but I could be wrong. Okay. So you think it could be around Bitcoin halving that will happen next year? Yeah. Right. Usually after the Bitcoin halving, the, mm -hmm. there's a price to right. increase. Okay, so but hmm. it, Please it, crypto has a way, usually with, um, usually with market classes, uh, history repeats itself. But mm -hmm. with crypto, I mean, it has a way of breaking that rule. So lately, many frauds, thefts and scams are happening in the NFT industry through Twitter and Discord channels. How can it be controlled to make NFT ecosystem safe, secure and trustworthy? Um, by making sure that people who get into NFTs and people who are part of the NFT community look into the background of the developers right. before they purchase. If the developer is doxxed, meaning that they've put all their personal info out, you can see their name, you can see previous businesses they've worked on, you've mm. seen them, you've seen their public profile, you've seen them in interviews, you know that they're out there and they're public figures. That increases the uh, the trustworthiness and the safety by 100x. It's not always foolproof, but it's 100 times safer than going into a project with anonymous developers. Right. Okay, so John, uh, big luxury brands and sports leagues are joining the NFT industry. How will it contribute or I should say benefit NFT sector? Okay, 
uh, luxury brands joining the um, NFT industry. That is um, the reason why uh, that can be useful is NFTs, if luxury goods each have an NFT assigned to them, um, that can be used to prevent counterfeit. So if the company, hmm. if there's a special wallet or multiple wallets dedicated to the company and they issue an NFT uh, that's dedicated to each luxury item they put into circulation, mm -hmm. then they can release a token that basically authenticates right. that the, the item that they're selling is not a counterfeit. Mm. So that's the way it can benefit the luxury industry. Mm. However, uh, sports leagues, different story entirely. Of course, it can be NFTs can be used to um, prove prove the authenticity of uh, sports collectibles, mm -hmm. physical sports collectibles like physical luxury items, but they also can be used for um, digital collectibles as well. For example, um, I bought Francis Ngannou, uh, when Francis Ngannou became UFC heavyweight champion, I bought his one of one NFT, the crown king for $280,000 on Maker's Place. Right. And, um, because he minted that from his account, mm -hmm. um, there's proof right there that that is an authentic collectible that I have. So there is a lot of buzz around AI, artificial intelligence. What is the role of AI in NFTs? How beneficial will AI be for NFTs? Okay, well, right now, AI uh, can be useful for coming up with, uh, it can be useful for designing, coming up with ideas mm -hmm. for a roadmap it can be useful for coming up with chat GTP can be used for brainstorming ideas for an NFT project. Hmm. If you then put those ideas into an AI system, it can then tell you the best methods for carrying those ideas out and the best, best strategies to use. AI art generators can create really, really cool art for NFTs. AI can be used to give marketing tips for NFTs. AI can be used to create marketing pitches for NFTs. And in the future, AI can be used to manage and grow entire communities of NFTs. Right. And then AI will eventually reach the point where um, it can design the NFT project itself. And it can actually manage NFT projects right from the point of inception all the way to one-on-one -on -one sales. It's going to be that powerful. That's great. So the competition between Bitcoin ordinals and Ethereum NFTs is getting tougher. With Bitcoin ordinals gaining success and new BRC tokens gaining traction, should Ethereum NFTs feel threatened? No, because Ethereum has the first mover advantage over right. Bitcoin ordinals. Many, many projects that are going to be like a sta staple pieces in history, such as the CryptoPunks or Bored Apes, right. are built on Ethereum hmm. and there's no way projects like that are going to be overthrown. So Ethereum NFTs are definitely here to stay. So what regulations do you think are needed in the NFT sector? Um, what regulations? I would say um, the best strategy for regulating the NFT sector is by um, simply getting the communities to make sure measures are taken by the developers, such as um, doxing their identity and putting their identity out there so that they can be held accountable if anything happens. Because the laws that apply to other asset classes, such as uh, fraud, money laundering, etc., they also apply to NFTs. Mm -hmm. And those laws can be enforced to the same degree they're enforced with other asset classes mm -hmm. if the identities of the people releasing the NFTs are made public. So lastly, what future do you see for NFTs and which segment of NFTs will gain the most attraction in the coming future? I think NFTs will be a big part of everyone's life in, say, 15, 20 years. That's a very long-term point of view. 20 years. <laughs> Obviously, the easiest examples to give would be the practical reasons such as uh, sports collectibles or authenticating luxury items or artworks mm -hmm. or um, tickets to shows, 
Mm, being minted as NFTs, that's also a big one. The mm. Practical examples. Um, as for which segment of NFTs will gain the most attraction in the coming future, I would say the answer to that question will be very similar to the, my answer to the first question. Um, practical reasons. NFTs that are used for practical purposes will be the ones that are used by everyone. So, John, thank you so much for having this conversation with us and for giving us your valuable time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ruchi. Thank you. That's all in the special segment for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3.2TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website, www.3worldstv.io or scan the QR code.